all right good morning everybody welcome back to day number two round number five is it round yeah round five i think we're at monticello sunday was a good day uh this morning i let uh bryce and mikey take my go-kart out for practice uh, i hope it comes back in one piece I'm gonna jump in the old TB for the first morning warm up and uh, see how that goes. But I am gonna race my cart <laughs> in the end. Uh, Matt's just not making it this morning for practice. So he uh, he went hard last night. So he's taking a little breather in. Um, yeah, things got heated yesterday. It's been like a battle. Uh, we sometimes forget that, you know, we're out here just to win a, tr a small trophy. All right, if a trophy means that much to you, it, you can have it. All right, I'm here to have fun. I wanna win, don't get me wrong, but you know, I'm not gonna go and just make enemies of the whole grid for for a piece of metal. And uh, uh, and then also, you know, you don't know what people are going through. And I'm not saying anything, you know, me personally. You don't know what people are going through. So sometimes comments might you say comments in heat a moment that might not come out right. You know, don't tell anybody they need to go to therapy and stuff. You know, yeah, I don't know what you've been through. You don't know what I've been through. So. That's all I'm gonna say about that spill. Uh, let's have a good day of racing. Let's get after it. And uh, I'm gonna try to go for top three because I don't have an unlimited budget just to throw at tires. So I'd rather race a little more, save my money, and then go race somewhere else. I just, this is the only bad thing about the series is they allow tires for each day. So there will be a tire advantage for some of the people on grid. Um, so can I hold on for top three? I don't know. Top five? more likely top three i'll be happy so uh let's get after today um pretty good day weather's gonna have a great yesterday did not rain until after races which was perfect so uh hopefully we have a good day of racing clean safe thanks for watching guys catch you guys on track for the pre-final I, I qualified p2 i'm on the outside my whole goal is to get to the front as fast as possible um Mostly everybody on new tires. I still had old tires on so I know how they're gonna fare I know the Vegas uh, For the first couple laps are really really fast on new and this surface is not that abrasive So they weren't destroying the tires like some other tracks uh, We take off. I don't get the best uh, Of starts and then I have to take some evasive actions. Um, I hook uh, Todd's bumper got sent to the right um, And then I'm guessing he didn't like that uh, move, but if you watch once I get back on Todd's back bumper, if you watch him, Joe gets by me, he gets a good run, and then uh, I get a bad exit, Dan's on my inside, so I point him by, and I slot in right behind him. The whole goal was not to let uh, Todd run away with it, and Joey was real quick, and so was Dan today, so my whole goal was just sit right behind them, but later on when I get back behind Todd, watch his line. He does like a late move block, like what we all say. Uh, my car was really fast in that section uh, going up the hill and down the hill uh, you can see here Dan's on a, a much taller gear than us um, I was still on that three five six gear ratio I'm guessing he was a little higher than me so I had a little bit more top end but he had plenty of bottom end to get my other corners uh, right here just pushing him as much as I could um, just to stay right behind them and uh, not let them run away a monocell is a drafting track it's really difficult to break the draft uh, the day before I was able to break it because I got a good run and then uh, they just kept battling behind me So really I was not the quickest overall. It was just luck of the draw and uh, once they started battling they weren't uh, running me down So we stayed pretty much in that line and Joey's uh, Idea was just you know pressure Todd him to making a mistake, but he makes like a late move and it's they ha He hasn't been called for blocking yet, but when we try to make that move that late break move um, they will they will message like us blocking. Dan got a really good run. I just wasn't close enough to, uh, to push him uh, at that turn, and then gave him a shove down this section here. So it was a really close race. It was going to be a really tight battle the whole time. Um, there was no going to be jostling for position. Uh, I know he didn't have the top end, so I immediately I shoot to the inside. I, I want to get after it. Uh, Joey here, he's going to make a move on Todd on this hairpin and just get a bad exit. So I make a move on him as well because uh, I was really just going to set in real hard uh, to try to take the lead. Like you see here, he goes for a block, swoops out late, uh, but they have not caught blocking at all on him. Uh, 
Joey gets a bad exit. I'm able to take the position. He actually points me by. So I go for it. And then uh, from here, my cart was just really quick. Um, it was just fast off the bat. And it really didn't die off much. I didn't run in the draft much yesterday. Uh, I didn't really get pushed much either. So, uh, But the tight section, the cart was really quick. So I knew I had some uh, something for them. Um, you'll see here in a second, I'm just going to suck up real hard. And then one section is just going to go for the move right away. Uh, I did not want to sit behind him or anything. I just wanted to go. Uh, right there, my cart was just so much faster on that right going up to the hill of the left. I'm going to stay right on his back bumper. Uh, you're going to see here he has a little bit more top end than me. I just run out of gear. And he just slowly just maintains and starts eking forward a little bit. Uh, him not having the draft is a little bit different. Already made up my mind. I'm going to send it in hard on this corner. He's going to hug the inside and then shoot out at the last second. I think to me that's a blocking move. I don't know what you guys think. To me, that is a blocking move because um, I've been called for the whole argument we had was I'm. He said I made a double move. Basically, I just did the same move that he's been doing all day long. Um, I copycat it, but I get a warning for blocking. They don't call anything on him. It's what it is now. Who gives a shit? I'm just gonna keep doing it until they actually hand me a penalty, and then I'll show the video and see what happens after that. I didn't have the fastest cart. Dan was on my butt the whole time. Uh, I could not drop him. Um, he was just that much quicker on the infield and just used the draft to stay right up on top of me. So I'm trying to think of what to do. Really, I should do the glance behind me because I actually had a decent gap back to him, which I did not need to block coming into a final corner. But I did anyway because I didn't check my blind spots. I didn't check the gap behind me. That's a mistake on me. Uh, I usually don't look... If I'm on in front, I just assume they're right on my back bumper. Um, I'm guessing he got into a little scuffle with uh, third and fourth uh, for second. They gave me a little gap. Uh, right here, I'm just going to go down to the bottom and protect the bottom. I'm not going to swoop back up to the racing line or anything. I'm going to hug the bottom. Dan's going to send it on the outside. Uh, I nose him on my outside. I keep it pinched down low. He gets a better run, and he takes the win on the pre-final. Uh, good job on him. He had a really good run, really good race. On to the finals. Uh, here we start going off. The next time I look to my left, and they're already gone. Uh, they punched off super early, and I was thinking to myself, I'm screwed. But they end up waving it off just because they got such a good run um, at the beginning. The second time, he brings it a lot slower, and then we take off right around the same time. Um, I end up dropping to a 353 and leaving it. And then I'm guessing Dan stayed at the same gear or maybe went down a little bit too. Um, we couldn't go two by two there. I got sent a little wide. And then I was just going to stick right behind Dan um, and just push as hard as I could. Uh, but then I thought to myself, if for some reason I get dropped, I'm not sure if I have enough speed uh, to keep up. So now I'm thinking about when can I make the pass. Uh, I was not going to make the pass until like maybe I saw the halfway marker. But I did. I saw Dan's cart uh, this whole weekend for the first couple of laps. His cart was just wild. Uh, it was really free. It, it's like you can see the rear end just start kicking out on him. And then he made maybe one or two slight mistakes on the tight infield section. And I did not want to have Todd right behind us. So I was going to try to make the move maybe halfway to go unless he opened a door somewhere else. And then I'll try to take the move a lot earlier. But right here, I'm just going to keep pushing, and then I'm just going to see if we can get, uh, you know, far out ahead of everybody. Um, but it was a really good race. Overall, happy with the car, happy with the, the uh, how the day went, um, you know, just trying to buy my time. It, it, towards the halfway point to the middle of the race, the car got really, really free on my end. I uh, just didn't have any more rear grip. That could have been me just overdriving the crap out of the car. Uh, Dan's going to dip a tire here, and I'm just going to stick my nose on the outside. Uh, I thought about making a move, and then I got such a good run that I said I'm going to make the move here. Uh, and then from here on out, I just hold my position, and, um, you know, I don't know how I did it, but the last lap, uh, the last two laps is uh, fireworks left and right. Um, that I could not keep the cart from under, under me to save my life. Uh, any wheel input in the rear, we just wanted to come around. 
I think the rear tires just had enough and they didn't want to work anymore. But then I just started making, uh, making my car as wide as possible, but staying within the rules uh, in my eyes. So it worked out best. Uh, Dan's cart got tight with about three to go, so I was able to drop him. But then Todd's cart came in really late in the race, so he was right there the whole time. Um, he ends up running me down uh, with one to go because I have a good uh, four to five cart link gap on him. But by the white flag, he is on my back bumper. And then I'm trying to think of how to defend, how to keep him behind me, um, where to make where to make it as most difficult as possible for him to pass. And if he does get around me, when can I make the attack back? It would have to be in the last corner. I would have to make the attack back. Um, but he ends up getting uh, right here, he sends it in. I do the over and under, get a good run out on this exit. Um, and then we start going two by two to this whole part of the track. Uh, it's a uh, side by side action. Uh, I try to stay off of him as much as possible. He tries to stay off of me as much as possible. Uh, but we are, you know, giving everything we got. So I make my car super wide. I end up defending. I don't sweep out. I keep it tight. And then I just defend every corner after this. Um, it slows down the pace. But I was hoping it brought Dan back into the mix. And then Dan would make a move on him. Uh, Todd's to my outside. Um, I have the apex of the corner. I give him enough space on the outside. He cuts back over. Goes back onto my inside. Uh, it's just, you know, trading positions left and right. But us doing this brought Dan back into the mix, and then Dan starts putting pressure on Todd. So now Todd has to worry about Dan. So now it's playing into my hands, and I'm not going to let them do the, around the outside. I'm going to match their pace and speed around this uh, uh, hairpin turn. I've learned my lesson. I'm basically just going to match their speed on the inside. I'm going to protect it. I roll off the brakes a little harder, and I get my elbows out a little better. Uh, Todd tries to go around the uh, outside. I match him. He goes back on the inside. That's the race win. Uh, super happy for the win. Got to thank everybody that put me here. Um, for sure, excellent race. Hands down, one of the hardest fought race. Super happy to uh, sweep Monticello this weekend. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, end of the day. Awesome racing. Great day. Uh, unbelievable. I just cannot believe how this weekend went. Um, showed up. Saturday morning went out practice cart was fast off the bat only change I did was just I had a little bit of negative camber from Charlotte and that is it I literally end up on the same gear as Charlotte gear ratio is three five three that's it and then the cart I just let her eat the whole time um really that last final I didn't have it uh dang Pinkston was pushing me around the track he was quicker than me at the beginning he was really loose and i was trying to push him away but he was just so loose i don't know if he was overdriving the car or whatever but he just kept dipping a tire so i got around him and he all he did was just push 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 and then about two to three laps to go i look back and he's no longer there so then i have uh, uh todd baron uh behind me and he ran me down his car came in stupid late he had a really awesome battle the last two laps. Uh, great, um, hard fought victory. Um, God thank everybody that helps me out. God thank uh, you know MGM chassis. Nobody gives me shit. Okay, I'm not. When I say these this stuff, it's not because I, I just it's I appreciate it because you know MGM makes a great chassis for me, not for everybody. Um, CR graphics, the helmet. My helmet looks awesome. Thank God. Uh, Podium products. You guys ask me, why don't you always wear a suit? Listen, I like the suit so much, I don't want to get it dirty. So I wear my crappy suit and break out the good suit for the finals. And then, um, smoker performance. I've talked about the gears over and over again. Once you understand the gears and get them down and know how to use them, by far the best shit on the market, in my opinion. The materials good made good not because Mike's here chilling he don't give a shit I give him I give him crap all the time they makes crap but the it's good material I beat the shit out of it like I not nice with it I, I hit it with a hammer and freaks out um awesome material you know gears are awesome love it uh love the support by everybody and I gotta give a huge shout out to my wife Nicole 
uh, without her letting me come out and do this, you know, I wouldn't be carding because and you know, I pick family over carding. Where it goes dogs, since she's not here, dogs, carding, then wife. But if she's here, it'll be dogs, wife, and carding. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you guys on track. Hey, congratulations to oh, Dylan on whooping Colin's ass by point zero zero two or really close to the line and uh congratulations to jake duvall congratulations to all the winners uh in the class at ckna awesome job this weekend um tempers got heated yesterday but we all cooled off uh tech was amazing hands down can't can't ask enough